what's up? Do you? Some people have a tin eye, you know? I know I do. I don't really do that much, you know? <laughs> Photography is mostly art. I do maybe more than a few uh, scientific vids than I should, like, you know, crop sensors, full frame versus DX, pixel, you know? I'm really absolutely not into measure baiting, is what people call it, measure baiting. You know, it's like, oh, it's got the X factor of multiplying. No, oh, God, you know, it's an art form for God's sakes. I appreciate really quality lenses. I appreciate beautiful photography. You know, I would stare in the Museum of Photography where I went to school. Some of the collections would come in. I'd hang in there longer than anybody staring at the artwork. Um, um, every time I do a video on art theory, people were like, I actually know a lot about art theory. Knowing and putting into practice are two different things. Yes, I know that. Um, I'm going to give you a demonstration of, um, do you have a tin eye? You know what a tin eye? You know what a tin ear is? A tin ear is like someone who actually can't hear. Uh, uh, it's a, a tone deaf, except we're talking about visual uh, deafness. A visual deafness. A tin, e a tin eye is what it's called. Um, means you actually can't see depth. You can't actually, you can sit there and measure stuff all day long, but you actually can't ever see a picture. You just, it, it doesn't register you to you. You're like a computer, you know, you can process it. It has an external value of 50 points, and it's like, no, let's talk about the art here. More can people see micro contrast. Um, I recently posted a test for doing micro contrast. Some people just can't see. It's like, I, you show them the example, I, say, I can't see it. It's, it's like, really? I converted into black and white to even make it really evident. I still can't see it. Everybody else can. <laughs> ten eyes. I'm going to give you an example of ten eyes, okay? I really wish you could see this. This is a true art... It's a little dusty. It's a true art hologram. You probably... I know you can't really see the depth on it. It's... If you hit the light right, you go, Oh my god! There are ones now that are actually a lot better than this. But this is a true professional art hologram. Here's just a crummy little test shot from a... Uh, Zeiss Distagon 35mm. Now, obviously, both of these are two-dimensional pictures, right? This is two-dimensional. Well, this is a hologram, holographic positive. Two-dimensional, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, they're both completely flat. This one has, like, when you look at it with the right lighting, you go, oh, my God, the depth. It's like you could reach in there, right? So what is, um, <clears throat> what is a blindness? What is a tin eye? Tin, T-I-N-I. It basically is like referring to someone that's tone deaf except with photography. So I, I was trying to think of like the best analogy I could give for someone that has a tin eye. And uh, I finally come up with it. But you see, now this is a true art hologram. Amazing depth. Now both of these are two-dimensional images, right? But anybody's like, oh my god, look at the depth of that. And someone else is like, yeah, this is depth. I can see the perceptual depth. And... There are seven different varieties of how depth is actually rendered in an image, lighting, micro contrast, a bunch of other stuff. So I've gone over that. So right now I'm going to show you what uh, <clears throat> what a tin eye is. Ebony and ivory lift it. Um, okay, can you show me these pictures? Yeah, okay. Uh, yeah, that's flat, man. That's flat. That's flat. And what about this one over here? Which one? Yeah, the one over to your right. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah, that's flat too. Ebony and I. Flat. And what about the one on the right? Yeah, it's flat too. Totally flat, you know. It feels the same as this one. This one feels the same as this one. You have a tin eye. Yeah, and I haven't seen anything in quite a while. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> did, did I drive the point home? Did I have to use... Some uh, slightly, slightly psychotic uh, humor there. <clears throat> Stevie Wonder. <laughs> Some slightly psychotic humor there. This is what we refer to when we talk about a tin eye. Um, there's a bunch of people that are raving about micro contrast. How many people are like, oh, micro contrast doesn't exist? People have been talking about Zeiss Pop and 3D Pop and micro contrast. It's all the same stuff. It's intertonal rendition that actually adds to the depth of the page. Like people, and people will say this over and over again. They're so stupid. They're so stupid. It's like, hey, it's a two-dimensional picture. What do you mean depth? They actually say that. <laughs> this is also a two-dimensional two-dimensional image. 
the de this is a true art hologram. You look at this, most people have never seen a true art hologram. And you can't really see the depth looking through the camera lens. People are like, oh my god, like they've seen the face of God when they've seen a true art hologram. And their one's better than this one. This is what we mean, we say. You might have a tin eye. Yeah, been <laughs> Crazy, right? But totally factual. Some people are tone deaf. Some people have a tin eyeball. You know? <laughs> it's, it's the way it is. So, thank you so much. Yeah. I'm going to get my little... I'm going to make my way there somewhere. Come on. Where's the camera at?